To vote 2010 now, voters need to pay close attention to how the ballot could affect all of our pocketbook. On your side, investigator Dan Tilkin looks at some significant money measures voters are being asked to pass. Dan, people may be asking why now? And in Portland alone, voters are being asked to pass more than $200 million in money measures. For one of the smallest groups asking for money, they say their survival depends on it was made by native peoples, was used on the Columbia River. Among the artifacts of the Oregon Trail. In fact, that question, is this real? That's the most off question kids ask. Is that real? At the Oregon Historical Society. These are sandals. These are sandals. And they're 9,000 years old. And they're 9,000 years old. The oldest shoes in Oregon. The oldest shoes in Oregon. That's right. Uh-huh. And, and the oldest item that we own. Is a feeling of angst. If the levee fails uh, in the course of next year, the board will have to make some real tough decisions and basically these facilities will start to close. Since 2008, layoffs mean limited hours at the library. It's the same place K2 got these photos last week for a story on the Portland Beavers teams gone by and PGE Park of old and the place countless people do research. Tight budgets mean the Historical Society hasn't had a curator for the last 10 years, so most of the artifacts are in storage. That's why Multnomah County voters are asked to levy themselves what amounts to about $10 a year for five years for the owner of a $200,000 house. That's less than TriMet wants. Its $125 million request to replace old buses would cost that same homeowner $16 a year. The Portland Fire Bureau wants $72 million to replace old fire trucks in its radio system at a cost that will range over the years from $18 to $27 for that same homeowner. Let me play devil's advocate. Please. TriMet's asking for money. Yep. The Fire Bureau's asking for yep. money. How dare you guys ask for money too at this time? I don't know how we dare not ask for money. I don't think that the citizens of this state are going to want this place to close down. TriMet's measure is a renewal bond. That means it's replacing what voters have already been paying since 1990. Now, getting voters to say yes to money measures can be done in a down economy. Voters in eight Clark County school districts, they passed their levies this year. And Fort Vancouver Libraries also passed its levy. And just to clarify for our viewers right now, when you're talking $200,000 home, that's the assessed. That's assessed value, not market value. Got it.